right, let me tell you what I had to do to make this work. This isn't something you can put on in like 15 or 20 minutes. This, that's dual spike air filters, actually a feat of engineering. Um, I suggest you to be ready to buy your own fasteners, first of all. Okay, it's like I told you guys that the ones they send you are way too big, so the reason why I got the black is the black steel is stronger. Um, there's actually four washers in back of here, same side, in order for this not to be uneven in pressure. A lot of guys I've read that these break, that's because you're not putting it on right. Okay? That's because, I mean, they, they probably broke like here, and that's all because the way you put these on is you tighten it here first, and then you have to measure it. Everything has to be perfect, or else it will break. So there's four washers. Actually, everything they send you, you can use. Um, or no, you know what, I think I, I, think I had... I had two washers laying around I got from something. So, I don't, it might even been the washers they gave me. But there's four washers. I don't know if you can see them there. There's three of, their, three of the ones they have, and then there's another one. So there's four on each side. Now, I used the original s, &S gasket that goes against the carburetor. Um, they don't send you another gasket for this. You're, you're going to have to make a gasket. I made mine out of the um, black Permatex gasket maker. What I did is I coated the outside of this and I let it dry. I coated it with a uh, plumber's paintbrush. And I let it dry. Um, these are mine. I bought these from a hardware store. I didn't like the ones they gave me. Um, I believe the size of those, let me see, guys. Yeah, those are 14, 20 turns every inch and three-quarter long. Now, these ones here, I'm going to replace with all these because what they give you is they give you these inset Allen key heads, and I don't like those. I like these. These, the threads here are different from here. The, the threads here for this, um, the, the, the main part that bolts onto your elbow, these are 1428, three quarter inch. So they're 28 turns every inch. That's how that works. These are 1428, three quarter inch. Um, I used, I didn't use my white thread locker. I did use the red on like all these ones here. Then you have, you have more Allen keys to hold the cone in. So you can change your filter. The filters, I'll probably never have to change. But everything was taken apart. The fasteners that go on here, I use Loctite. The ones on here, I use Loctite. Now I also... What I did, too, in order for this not to have any play, believe it or not, I used sewer's hemming tape on the collar of the inside of here. I use hemming tape here. It's, it's actually like a double-sided tape, but it's real thin. And it, it resists heat in uh, washing machines and ironing, so it should be good for the carburetor. But believe it or not, the collar that's inside here, I use hemming tape. I use hemming tape in here too, as well as uh, for the other spike. And then I use the red Loctite on all the fasteners. Now, I still have to take this off because I'm taking a carb off. I want to change the, um, they advised me to, to replace the, uh, the main jet with a larger jet. So that we have to do. This is from Panic Cycles, by the way. This is from Panic Cycles. It's a three position choke. As I demonstrated to you guys. Now what I'm going to do is I like these better than those. So 
Uh, my hardware my hardware store doesn't have these, so I have to I have to find these on Amazon or eBay or on the net. And uh, we're going to just order three more of these. We'll replace these with uh, these guys here. I, I like these a lot better. Guys are stronger. They're easier to get on and off. And another thing you're going to have to do too. Uh, let me get my flashlights, and you can see this inside bolt there. All right, now. That fastener right there, I had to actually grind down the sides to turn it into a bolt. That's an Allen key head. That's one of uh, those. You know, you know, by the appearance, it looks like an Allen key bolt, but I had to act in order to get that in. That's that's what you're going to have to do, because you can't fit a tool inside there inside that radius. So you're going to have to grind down the sides to make it into a nut, like a, a nut like fastener. And that way there you get that on and off if you have to, or if you have to tighten it, you can tighten it. That's what you're going to have to do to that fastener. Because there, there's three of them. There's one on the bottom of the elbow too. But that's the only one you're going to have to make into a, a six-sided uh, bolt. And um, there is there is room for your foot. It, I mean, it, I know it, I know it looks bad, guys, but it's not. I mean, your foot is going to hit the spike, but you can get your foot in there. You know, you're gonna just have to get used to doing it. Uh, that's the price you have to pay for that look. You know, some of you guys might not like the double spike. You might want to go at the single just because of that reason right there, but um, I mean, I'll be honest with you. If I would have known, if I would have known it was coming that close to the to the foot brake, I would probably got a single spike. But um, I got it, you know, and I have to live with it. But uh, you know, for the look, that's the look you pay. You, that's the price you pay for the look. But um, it is a it is a feat of engineering. It's not an easy thing to put on. There's a couple things you're going to have to do if you don't want the thing falling off. And it's uh, the main thing. Like I said, is if you guys don't put double sided tape on the inside of here or hemming tape, I, I like hemming tape. You know, hemming tape's the best thing to use. Let me see if I got some of that over here. Yeah, see, here's the, here's the hemming tape right here. I'll put a link to this stuff here. And I used the um, 272 Loctite. But uh, that's the Achilles heel. If, if you think you're going to hold these on just by tightening down these bolts, you're in for a surprise. They're going to wind up falling off. The less play in these collars, the better off you are. So you have to use hemming tape on this collar, on the inside of this one, now the inside of this one here, this has the elbow. Th this piece that goes onto the elbow has more play, so I actually used electrical tape. I used black electrical tape. I wound it around two times. Matter of fact, you can still see the remnants of it right there. And that makes it nice and tight. That way, there's no play, and then you have your bolts to hold it in, and um, that's how it stays solid. But if you don't use tape here and hemming tape in these one, two, three locations, these will come loose. No matter how tight you tighten this, because you can't really tighten these down tight. That's the Achilles heel, that double spike. And probably a single spike as well. Alright, that's what you guys are going to have to do. Um, hope it works out for you, and uh, Next, what we're going to have to do, we have to remove this. Everything I did, I got to take it off. In order to take the carb off, we have to take off the uh, the ignition shroud in, in the um, the module. Then we can get to the carb, so I can get the carb off because I, I have to polish the carb. I never I never polished the carb yet, guys. I've been giving the Honda Rebel here all my attention, trying to get this thing to start, and believe it or not. I'm not getting the spark to my plugs. It, it, it gets like a spark every now and then. 
So these are, um, I think my coils not, might not be any good. These are the performance coils. I don't, I don't really think they're working. Um, I did take it off and I kept the plug on and then I sat it on top of my head and believe it or not, the motorcycle started like that, you know, and then, and then they don't work. They work every now and then. So that's why I'm thinking it's the coils. So I'm going to buy, I don't know where my original coils are, but I'm buying a set of the original coils, a used set for the 85, and uh, we'll see if those work. See, I still have the double Chinese carb on. The um, OEM carb, I got, I got done cleaning it. It's right here. Uh, I couldn't get that to work, to be honest with you. It's, it's probably because I'm not getting a spark this got to be feet and gas because I put this in an ultrasonic cleaner. I also, I let this soak in Berryman's for one week. And then I put it in the ultrasonic cleaner using the Berryman's carb cleaner for one hour. And uh, I have an ultrasonic heater. I have an ultrasonic cleaner that's got a heater on it also. I put it in there for one hour. And um, I think the carb works. I just, I don't think... I think the problem with the Honda is I'm not getting a spark. So we're going to work on that, research that a little bit. And uh, it still says you see there's some snow outside. It's not riding weather. So, and it's just started, guys. There's three more months of that. So there's a lot of stuff we have to do on the dog here. I don't know if I'm gonna put her. I'm, I might. I might try to use that rear tire up a little bit more. I don't know. It's probably safer. I put a rear tire on. I don't know. I have to think about it. I mean, there's still some life in the rear tire. Maybe I'll just use it up a little bit more. All right, guys.